Hi, I'm Anthony for Sydney Backyard Veggies. It's just over at my tomato plants. Um, I gave these a prune three weeks ago and now they've actually uh, grown that initial prune. So it's time to give them a further maintenance prune right now just to make sure that the plants are properly trained along the stakes that I've provided. So I'm going to come through now and show you how I go about pruning my tomatoes on a regular basis and how to make sure that they are properly trained along uh, the structures that you put to support them. So I'm over at my tomato and as you notice I've got my two leaders, I've got my leader over here and my second leader. Now this is the second leader that I saved, this is the main leader. But what you also notice is that a lot of the leaves uh, have actually started outgrowing the plant, they've actually started to touch the floor and what I'm trying to do is trying to make sure that I keep the leaves off that soil because that's the vector for any of the diseases and insects. So I'm going to come through and actually start cleaning away a bit of that mass of leaves to really try to get rid of that leafy bulk but also start looking at managing the number of side shoots. Um, at this stage I do like to keep a third side shoot and I will potentially as I come through I'll show you but the one back here I might keep this one as a third and potentially look at a fourth one which is just over here at the end. So as I clear these I'll show you those two additional side shoots that I will keep but coming through always when it comes to pruning the first thing I do is look for any leaves that are touching the floor at the moment so as you can see this one that one's being cleared and as I move up I'll get rid of this leaf here get rid of this leaf there as you can see that was my first cluster of tomatoes which is right there my leaves my um, flowers now they've become tomatoes I'll get rid of these side shoots. Now, again, this one here is at touching the bottom, so I'll get rid of that one, and I'll get rid of this one at the bottom. Now, as you can see here, I had used this leaf, just bring it across there, use that leaf to support the plant initially when it was small. What I'll do now is I'll actually get rid of that tie and prune that leaf off. Likewise, I will get rid of this leaf at the back and it's side shoot. So now you can see there's just a lot less bulk in the leaf matter. I will get rid of this leaf here too. And now, see, what I've done is I've actually opened up that plant, let it breathe a little bit more, get a little bit more airflow through here. Again, it's the general rule is print, prune little, prune regularly. So. I'm happy with this amount of pruning at the moment. I will look at removing some of these side shoots. So I don't want to, um, too many. I'll end up just becoming a, an absolute mess. But I am keeping this side shoot here at the back. I will get rid of this leaf because it is crossing over. I don't want it to knock out the flowers. But there's my second batch cluster of flowers and I've got my third cluster of flowers here. So at this stage I am happy with how this plant looks. So now looking at my plants I want to provide more supports on this plant. Now I can either get another tie or what I'll do is I'll just re relocate this tie down here and try to bring it above. I generally like to put them above the flowers and I'll just tie that at this location here so what I've done there is just giving it a bit of extra support I will I could look at getting rid of this leaf but I will leave this leaf here at now at the moment but the intent here at the moment is just to make sure that that's adequately supported likewise on this side at the moment I might leave that there I might raise it a little bit because you've got your second sh you got your second leader here you got another leader here I will keep this leader. I may potentially get rid of this leader here at the back. This one here. As you can see, actually I will get rid of that because it's going to get a bit too clustered there. And it does look like I've gone drastic on the pruning, but this will be fine. These plants will bounce right back and it's just setting them up for, uh, for uh, keeping them manageable really. What I do want to do though is remove this string and actually raise this one, bring it across here. Now, you might not be able to see that from the camera, 
but the idea is I'm trying to support it in a way that I don't have the flowers wrap up uh, against the rub up against the post and there you go that's tight now I can put in a third stake for this shoot here but I might leave it for now and I'll just continue on uh, pruning the rest of them so here again moving down the line same sort of philosophy as the first tomato I remove any of the leaves that are touching the floor any of the leaves generally that are diseased at this stage it's still a bit early in the season for them to be diseased it's funny enough this one here has a side shoot coming out the ground so that will be removed it's causing too much um, congestion in the plant I remove the lower leaves and just remove this one and then I will look at which of those side shoots I'm going to keep now again the pruning I'm doing here is purely just to remove the bulk of those leaves at the lower levels trying to keep the plant up off the soil I'll remove this one and as I'm going up I would look at saving um, the third one the third um, side shoots here and I probably will keep that fourth side shoot there and that's probably about it until they get much bigger then I'll look at potentially keeping a few extras but at this stage let's continue on pruning really opened it up so as you can see there now I would generally get rid of this one as well but I'll leave it for now for the next prune got my one two clusters and I've got my third clusters of flowers here and my fourth cluster here now as I'm coming up I will now fix up the the cables making sure that the plant is adequately supported I like to generally like to move these around so that the flowers aren't in contact with the timber uh, stake and I'll put that right there and just a simple knot I'll come through just remove a couple of these side shoots That's good to go. I'll just remove this one too. Excellent. On this side, I'll remove these two side shoots. And I will rearrange this. Move this across. And again, just tie that to the stake. Okay, that's now pruned. Um, I would have liked to have taken that leaf off, potentially that leaf, but I've given it a decent prune now. I'll just let it settle in, and then I'll come back and give it another prune in about two weeks time. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to work through the rest of them. Okay so again looking at removing the bulk of these leaves at the bottom. So I'll come in there, clear that first one, that one at the bottom and then I'll clear this one. This one's the one that was used to tie. Just leave it there for now. I'll get rid of this one here. This one I'll get rid of this one, and this side shoot coming up. I've got this one that's been still used to tie against the leaf tied against the stake. I'll just remove the the, the cloth tie. Remove that, 
and I will look at keeping actually I'll get rid of this side chute as you can see there is a side chute right there I'm gonna get rid of this one because I'm actually keeping this side chute as my third uh, third and fourth side chute so I'm gonna get rid of this one and then what I'll do I will potentially remove this side chute um, I will leave this leaf for now. I'll leave these two leaves for now because I'm starting to... The, the prune's getting quite extensive. I'll get rid of these leaves here at the back. And now, as I'm tying this one over, I'll bring it across here. Tie the head. I will actually tie it without breaking the stem. I will tie this plant across here. And then I will see what's going on on the other side. This is a quite big plant, so it just needs a little bit more TLC. Get rid of that side shoot. Get rid of that leaf. This is my new side shoot here. And I'll get rid of some lower growth in the back here and a leaf. And then removing all these shoots of Leaves are cut off. I will tie this stem to to the plant. So there you go. Again, making sure it's adequately supported. I will need to put a second st stake for this one. But at this stage, I'll let it, just let it be. Put the string above the above the cluster of leaves of flowers. There you go. That at this stage is pruned. I don't like. I try to look at it now, see if it needs any more pruning. But that's fine. I will may just take off the occasional side side shoot that I see coming up now. Um, I do have a few leaves. I've got a leaf here at the back that I might get rid of but at this stage I'll leave it. This one here at the back. But as, as you can see again most of that plant is open. I will have to put a stake for this but besides that it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to continue on so I see how many I can knock out before it gets too dark tonight. Yes, I've just gone through and pruned the rest of those tomatoes and again just before dusk which is great as you can see if you can just see to the side there I have all my prunings uh, so I'm gonna have to clean these out put them in the compost pile now it, the pruning does look quite drastic uh, and I do get a lot of comments from my old man about how hard I prune but I find personally that when I do this I just get a better crop, I get a better plant, a healthier plant and a plant that I can actually manage and stake and look after properly. But in, in two weeks time when I come back to refilm these to show you my next round of pruning, uh, you will see that it, it will just be the big mat of, mat of leaves that it was before I did my prune. So I'm happy that I did this now. I'll come back to these plants in about two weeks. I will go through and stake those um, third and fourth leaders that I've been keeping as part of my pruning session. And I'm hoping um, there will be a lot more fruit showing and a lot more flowers developing over the next few weeks. Look, thank you very much for joining me in this pruning session with my tomatoes. I really appreciate the support. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy watching me work through my patch and I hope to see you in the next one.